as I did this coming movie. What happens in Vegas? Let's take a look. Where's the one place where you can step up and be a man? Community college. Where can you go? You can forget all your troubles. Vegas! Vegas! They were two strangers. I'm not usually this much fun! Looking for a night to remember. <laughs> what they got was a morning after. They'll never forget. Well, I'm gonna need a divorce. Absolutely! We'll always have Vegas! Quarter in the slot. What's mine is yours, baby. We're married now. Remember? I am freezing the three million dollars and sentencing you to six months hard marriage. Objection. Objection. Welcome home, sweetheart. If you want me to report that you're both working on your marriage, you're gonna actually have to do that. <laughs> marriage is hard. Almost done. Men and women are not meant to coexist. Oh yeah, this is happening. By the way, it's your day for dishes. 20th Century Fox and Regency Enterprises present. If I can get Joy to be the one to end the marriage, not only would you get out of the marriage, you will also get the full three million. Hi. Hi. Would you mind if we waited in here until the locksmith comes? There is a hot girl party going on in my living room. Dude, it's a trap. No, this happens. No, it doesn't happen. A comedy about two people ah. with three million reasons to stay together. She doesn't seem so bad, Uncle Jack. For better. Can you believe this? No, you're falling for your wife, you idiot. Keep your eyes on the prize. Or for worse. Yeah. Huh? I didn't need to look real so it seemed like she was beating you. Jack, what happened to your face? I'm supposed to line up the hand towels just so, and I didn't, I didn't do it. I'm sorry. I deserve it. What happens in Vegas? Oh, no, no, no. oh, I need to calm down after that. Yeah. I need a Bex and a good lie down. What happens in Vegas, Gav? Well, I was expecting to see you out there because I know you love Vegas movies, <laughs> don't you? I do. And, I, and after the trailer there, you were, you were hoping it would be a bit of irreverent fun where Cameron Diaz plays this um, pretty highly... Hot, highly hot looking hot looking definitely, highly strung uh, stockbroker who gets dumped by her boyfriend and then with her, her sassy girlfriend of course, they've all got a sassy girlfriend, head off to Vegas for the weekend. Meanwhile we have Ashton Kutcher, how annoying is Ashton Kutcher, I thought he was annoying in uh, Punk or whatever it was, why do you catch him in this? He's playing a guy who gets sacked from his job by his dad, played by Treat Williams and so he heads off to Vegas with his Nerdy mate, they've always got nerdy mates, right? Fat so, mate. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> and they head off to Vegas together, and he and Cameron meet up. I think they get to share the same hotel room and some stuff up. Oh, and of course, cool. and then oh. they hate each other, even though they're both incredibly attractive. Um, they hate each other, but in probably the only funny bit of the film is, a la Britney Spears, I guess, is they get totally drunk and hammered, and that is a funny montage where they get married. But on top of that, just to push Push Haven't a little we bit seen further. this before? Yeah, it does sound familiar, doesn't it? They get married overnight, and just to push it a little bit further, they end up winning at one of the pokies, and they win $3 million, so they're stuck with each other. Um, from there, it turns into really real predictable fare, in that even though they hate each other and forced to live with each other, and Ashton is another womanising misogynist, um, that, of course, Cameron's going to fall for him. Um, and they have to spend the same... Um, have to live in the same room, but slowly but surely they fall for each other. There's my synopsis. Who gets into these scrapes in Vegas? I thought that we'd drunk enough <laughs> alcohol and had allowed ourselves to be suitably exposed to the world in Vegas that we ought to have something like this happen to us, Cos. I went through the drive through um, chapel to get married by a man in an Elvis suit and I didn't have the proper paperwork. It's not a really good Vegas movie though. It's only it's only a small part of the movie and, they, and they're all acting and drunk and having a great time and the rest of the movie they're totally boring and his character changes in front of her eyes. No longer a womaniser. He stops being a womaniser because he finds the woman of his dreams slowly but surely. Well, it is, uh, the, it is the worst thing about this movie is that it's not funny. The first half's meant to be funny, and I think Ashton Kutcher tries to deliver some jokes which come off badly. Now, what was he in with Brittany Murphy when they ended up going to oh, Vegas and getting married yeah. together? No, or they something? didn't go to Vegas, they went to some old castle. Oh, that was a honeymoon or something. Well, I must admit, when I saw, I think Cameron Diaz, it's not just because, like you said, she's attractive, but I think she's got. Um, is she? Yeah, I think she is. 
kidding. <laughs> I, think, I think she's got some comic timing, and not that she's done some great movies, but I think she's a likeable character. Did she fall over in it? Oh, probably a couple of times. <laughs> but um, I, I liked her. When I saw her on the bill with Ashton, I thought, what are you doing a movie with him? I honestly did think that. So wait for DVD. It's not funny what's meant to be funny, but admittedly by the end of the movie, people were laughing, so maybe I'm wrong and they're right. Wait for DVD. Any good Vegas footage? No, I don't think it's a Vegas movie, you know. That's just a premise and it moves on pretty quickly from there. Very annoying peripheral characters. Um, his mates are all dorks, you know. He hangs out with all ugly dorks, of course, and, and her friend is, is this sassy, smart mouth woman. That, you know, the routine sort of friends you get in these movies? Mm. Wait for DVD. Oh, disappointing with a title like that.